Oh, a little Bruce. Some big time musicians like Bruce Springsteen and Paul McCartney are releasing new music or playing live tomorrow. Why? It's Record Store Day. Organizers say this year's event is the biggest one yet. Jeff Glory is here to explain the growing nostalgia for the day of the phonograph. Jeff, good morning. Charlie, good morning. Might seem like a foreign concept now, but for more than a half a century, it's how we listen to music. Now it's back. And if you see long lines outside a local record shop tomorrow, this is why. Needle on vinyl. If you're an audiophile, it's how you play music. If you're a band, it's why. What is it about vinyl? Well, what isn't there about vinyl is really the question. Joy Williams and John Paul White, the Grammy winning country duo The Civil Wars, are one of the many artists breathing new life into a format long left for dead. She was more like a beauty queen. A seven inch Billie Jean vinyl. Yes. Mm -hmm. How does one decide on that? It just seems like such a natural. That's exactly what you think? people think as soon as they hear our music. Michael so, Jackson. Uh, they should put out Michael Jackson vinyl <laughs> covers. <laughs> she said, I, am the one. I, I grew up with you know my parents' records, and and you had to you know you had to be so particular with them. And, you know you revered them, and you, they had a lot of weight. They had a lot of value. Their vinyl single comes out tomorrow, the fifth annual Record Store Day. Until the 1980s, vinyl reigned supreme before getting replaced by the cassettes, CD, then MP3. But since Record Store Day began five years ago, vinyl sales have more than tripled. The event now attracts artists like Coldplay, and Katy Perry. And according to Billboard editor Joe Levy, plenty of newly minted vinyl fans. I think it's sort of like finding a treasure. You know, it's this feeling of, yeah, I, I know what music is. I don't exactly know what this is. And you play it on what? A record player? Eric Astor runs Furnace Record Pressing in Fairfax, Virginia. In vinyl's heyday, there were 75 record pressing plants in the U.S. Today, 10. The last record press was uh, made in 1980, 81. So when we need a part, we make the part. We get nerds down in the basement, you know, carving out gears and stuff like that because that's what you need to do to keep these things going. You can't keep up with demand? No. Part of it is there's a cool factor, but I also think that people are starting to uh, rebel against this digital uh, format that everyone's been used to for the last 10 years. So much so that before his death, Steve Jobs was working with music legend Neil Young to create better audio files. Steve Jobs was a pioneer of digital music, right? And he, his legacy is tremendous. But when he went home, he listened to vinyl. For the uninitiated, why does vinyl sound better? When you take music to digital, you're losing a certain amount of information. You're clipping off some of the highs, you're clipping off some of the lows. I can carry 10,000, 30,000 songs in my pocket, but do they sound as good as the 12 songs on this record? No. You don't download? Uh, almost not at all. Seriously? Yeah. I'm learning something new. For the Civil Wars, vinyl is a medium worth passing on. Because many years ago, someone did it for them. You know, I've got my grandparents' records. Yeah. You know, I don't That's have sweet. their hard drives. No good, in the river. Can't no man save my soul. I like this story. Great line, yes. If you're wondering, by the way, what a vinyl record is, this is it. Before it's a vinyl record, these PVC pellets, yeah. right in this bag right mm -hmm. here, that becomes this sort of hockey puck, yeah. and then that gets flattened down into if, a vinyl if, record. If the sound is better, Jeff, why did we switch anyway? For the convenience the, of the it? The convenience. The cost? Simple. 
Simple, simple to make. Simple. Yeah. Doesn't cost to transport it if it's an MP3. The key here is making audio files that are better than MP3s, mm -hmm. which they're working on, as you saw. But it's a bandwidth issue. Mm. Um, you know, it's a size issue. I think they'll figure it out eventually. But for now, so digital will, in the end, be better sounding than vinyl. I mean, I think it can potentially be. But also, there, there's something to be said for for taking that record out. Yes. The smell, the feel of it. No, you know. reading yeah. the liner notes. Well, I used absolutely. to love the liner the notes and the lyrics and the cover too. Yes. Just to, yes. The cover. I you you asked us to think about stuff. some old music, and I went back and looked, and it's just wonderful. some beautiful, it's beautiful it. artwork. Yeah, exactly. Bring um, it back. Bring it back. Not Thank you, go away. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff. Sure. Just ahead, they appear together in Taxi Driver. Now we're doing our best to reunite Robert De Niro and Sybil Shepherd. Stay tuned.